I got this set of outdoor solar lights to test and review. So let's take them out of the box and check them out. All right, so in the box, this is what you're gonna get. You got two of the solar lights because this is the two pack. It comes with a nice size solar panel to power both of these lights or charge them, I guess you could say. It's got two wires on the back. I'll flip this over in a second. It's got the user manual, a remote, three brackets so you can mount the solar panel and both lights. And then all of the little mounting hardware and so forth that you would need to get this mounted in whatever space you're planning on putting it. The solar panel, if you look on the back, has a basic connector on the back end. It's got some specs about it, but it's got the two wires coming out of it, one for each one of these lights. Let's go ahead and get this thing mounted so we can check it out. All right, so I've got this light mounted now underneath our pergola. I've got the other side mounted exactly the same way as this, where I put a screw right here in the wood, mounted it using the brackets that were provided, and I have these lights shining down. So I mounted the solar panel at the back of the pergola right here. It's actually facing south into the sun. We have other string lights that are underneath here that are just ambient lighting, but these are gonna be good lights to give me a nice bright light at night when I need it. All right, let's wait till it gets dark and I'm gonna check out the lights. All right, well now it has gotten dark outside, so let's go ahead and check out these lights. First thing I'm gonna do is turn them on. All right, look at there. So there is one of the lights. Let's go over here to the other one that is off and turn it on. So this is how well those light up this area, which is awesome. I mean, that's a ton of light for outside. They are set to dust to dawn, which means they should stay at this level of light until it gets daylight outside. And then, of course, they would come on as it gets dark. But let's also check out there is the ability on the remote to increase and decrease the amount of light bright that's what that is now and if we do less bright you see it kind of dropped down a little bit still pretty bright still nice creates a really good amount of light out here then of course you can set these to motion and then a six hour where they turn off so I have them right now on dust to dawn so they don't go off. But if I go to this setting here, so let's see what happens with that. I'm gonna go do the same thing with this light over here. So let's see what that does. All right, so I've got them both turned on to motion. They're actually gonna turn off soon. And then I'm gonna walk over there and they should turn on. No, there's one and there's the other. So now let's take a stroll over there, see how well they pick me up. Oh, there's that one but right about the time I was entering the pergola and same thing here so I would say that their motion settings are really nice as you walk up to wherever you have them hung they will pick you up and turn on and then of course if you just wait a little bit they'll turn off so there's three color choices you can go with a white color a more of a cool white kind of an amber color and if you press the button in the middle it turns both lights on the white and the amber color to give it more of a mid-range cool like a nice cool white color as you can see those put out a lot of light i really like these lights and i hope this video was helpful thank you very much for watching y'all take care